my father like I'm Naruto. Keep the blade on me, Ichigo. Who really wanna go toe for toe? TT off from Tokyo. Diamonds flipping up on the stove. Lucky man like a fully cloak. Diamonds wanna go. Hello everyone, it's me Nagato's Adventure. Hope you guys are having an awesome day for today. In today's video slash showcase, I'm gonna be teaching you guys on how to install Vita Homebrew Browser and also on how to install VBK directly to your device. So this is a very you know useful method, especially if you may not have a PC always at hand for you. As long as you have a Wi-Fi connection, you can install you know VBK directly to your device. So let's say if your USB cable is broken or something like that, um, as long as you have Vita on um, homebrew browser already installed on your PC that means you could already um, do this process on your Vita device with that being stated as well I do recommend that you guys go ahead and follow all of my social media so you know the latest hacking guides and tutorials on my channel so the best way on how to know when I drop my latest content since I try to you know drop a video every single day on my channel is to be sure to hit that notification button by being subscribed to me and as well by following my uh, Twitter that's where I usually you know tell my community and fans when I drop my latest content so go ahead and follow my social medias as well if you want to be in a mix of things and also want to join my official uh, community I recently made an, a discord and the way on how to join that is is basically just looking in the link in the description below or just typing in this link as showcased on the screen and via with this link you could join that way and not only you can meet new people from the hacking and modding community you could also get help for your favorite consoles so let's say if you are having trouble with this program right here as I'm showcasing here I basically have support channels in my uh, discord so you could go ahead and type your question in there or if you just want to talk to me on a daily basis and you know want to leave some comments or you know have any suggestions for my channel go ahead and feel free to you know join my discord just for that as well if you want to go ahead and support my channel even more um you could become a patreon i recently just made a patreon um not too long ago so go ahead and you could type in that link as showcased on the screen or i will have that in the link in the description below um by supporting my channel and becoming a patron it will help just with the overall development of my channel and it will just help in terms of things as you know video equipment um anything of like the overall development so anything in terms of research since these videos take a long time to you know produce and make for you guys as well if you do want to um support my channel you can feel free to donate via my paypal any of the money that i may receive from my fans and supporters will go straight back into my channel so as i stated before it will just help with the overall development so it will help me buy things such as a better camera a better microphone you know stuff like that so i can provide you know the best quality content for you guys to watch with all that fun stuff getting out the way we're going to go ahead and get started on today's prerequisites for the vita or if you're using a psd and anything as I state will be in a download description below as always so if you have a modded PlayStation Vita that's already hacked assuming if you're using you know the Trinity the Hankaku H on core H on core 2 or Hankaku Enzo exploit you can basically do this for today so if your systems on 3.60 or 3.72 firmware and it's on a hacked device you can also still do this for today um as well you need the latest version of Vita Shell. You also need the latest version of Vita HB Browser, not VPK, and also a Wi Fi connection for this process as of today. And as well, you need Fozilla FTP client to um, transfer your files over or a USB cable of your choice as well. The reason why we need a Wi Fi connection um, overall for this, since all of the VPKs are getting downloaded from an internal server off of Vita Homebrew Browser. So, on the, basically, the method on how to uh, download vpks or like you know homebrew games or homebrew such as like adrenaline and stuff like that it's just getting downloaded off the um web server so you do need a wi-fi connection if you plan on you know using this like you know away from home and stuff like that there is a disclaimer that i do want to note and i ran into this myself so there are a couple unknown issues with the vita homebrew browser so it takes forever to load so if that is normal don't like be in shock and think your uh, system froze or anything and if you your screen does take too long to load and you basically just have a black screen for over like you know 30 seconds 40 seconds a minute or it takes too long and you get an error right after it so if you get error c1 dash c128 28 dash one um basically there is a problem and it's very simple on how to fix this so if you have this problem to fix this problem all you have to do is delete the vita hb browser folder in this directory and i showcase the directory so if in vita show all you have to go is to ux0 aka your memory card slash data or into the data folder slash vita hb browser just delete the vita 
data.hb browser folder and I'll show you guys on how to do that in today's video um, as well if you get this little issue but that's the only disclaimer that I wanted to state um, you know for this process I just want to go ahead and give special thanks to dev no name 120 for you know making um this VPK or the Vita homebrew browser so shout out to him and don't forget if you need any help go ahead and join my discord but with all that fun stuff getting stated we're going to go ahead and get started on the PC side of things All right, guys, so something that you did follow all the prerequisites as stated in the intro, we're going to go ahead and get started on the PC side of things first. So right here, here is Vita HB browser VPK. All we need to do is go ahead and transfer this over with uh, FileZilla via with our PlayStation Vita. So what I'm going to do here is just close out of FileZilla, reopen it back up, and then I'm going to transfer over to my PlayStation Vita to showcase on what we need to do in Vita Show to go ahead and get our IP showcased here. And then we're going to be able to transfer over our file to get Vita HB browser.vpk installed. So let's go ahead and go on to the Vita. Alrighty guys, so as showcased here, I'm basically back onto my PlayStation Vita. Let me go ahead and turn it down since there's a lot of notifications coming over it. But once we're on to our Vita guys, what we need to do is go ahead and scroll to Vita Show. So I'm assuming that you already have Hankaku, Hon Core, or Hankaku Enzo installed for this process, or you know, whatever exploit. Go ahead and run Hon Core 2 or Trinity and then open up Vita Show. Once you open up Vita Show, what we need to do is just go ahead, wait till it boots in. I'm going to go back to the main menu from here just by hitting circle back out. Now hitting start and going to our select button. So either hitting left or right on the D-pad. That's how we're going to be transferring our files for today. So if you're going to be using the USB method, go ahead and plug in your PlayStation Vita's USB cable to your PC right now. But since I'm using FTP method in FileZilla, that's what I'm going to be using uh, for here. So make sure on your select button, it's already toggled to FTP. All you got to do is hit circle. Make sure your Wi-Fi is on for this process and now hit select on your system. Once you hit select, you should see your IP address and also your port. And once you have that, what we're going to do is go back to our PC, transfer over via the homebrew browser, and then get started on the actual installation for this process. Alrighty guys, so as showcased here, we're back onto the PC. I'm assuming that if you've been watching my videos before or have been messing with modding with Vita, you're probably used to FileZilla FTP client. If you don't already have it installed on your PC, I will leave a link for the installation guide on how to do that. And then you could just install it or you can use any FTP client of your choice. It really doesn't matter. I just prefer FileZilla FTP client since it's the most simplest out of all of them in my opinion. But all we need to do for our host, that's where we're gonna type our IP address. So this is mine right here. And then for the port, we're gonna do 1337, quick connect. And then from here, guys, all we're gonna do is go into UX0, go to Vita HB browser.vbk, and just drag it into our UX0 folder. It shouldn't take too long since the file is not large at all. You can follow the same steps and just transfer it to the same directory if you're using a USB. But once your uh, VBK has successfully transferred over with FileZilla, all we gotta do is exit out of FileZilla and then come back to our PlayStation Vitas. All right, guys, and since we're back onto our PlayStation Vitas, what we need to do is go ahead and hit circle out of FTP server, go into UX0, scroll all the way down, and we're gonna find our VPK, which is Vita HB browser.vbk. Let's go ahead and just install it like a normal VPK package. Just go ahead and hit X again. It shouldn't take too long for it to install, but once it installs, before we even go back out to a live area, there are some things that we need to check in the Vita shell, only due to the fact Vita Homebrew Browser has some um, issues, which I stated in the uh, prerequisites, that um, sometimes you need to delete a certain folder within a data folder in UX0. So that's what we're gonna be doing here. So once that is fully done, we're gonna go ahead and scroll all the way back up to data and UX0, go to data, where it says Vita HB browser. We're gonna just highlight over it with triangle and then hit delete, and then hit X again. And then we're gonna back out from here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and back out these apps too as well, since they're kinda of in the way for this process. But once um you have the Vita homebrew browser, you should see it onto your um, live area. All you gotta do is open it up normal, and it does sometimes take a while for it to boot. So hopefully it won't take too long this time. So as of right now, 
Um, once you deleted the data folder, you shouldn't run into any issues, but here is the PS Vita homebrew browser showcased here. And now um, I'm just waiting in it for it to load up. Make sure your Wi-Fi is on as well, because that's how we're going to be downloading our homebrew directly from our Vita. So that's what I'm just going to be waiting for here. Alrighty guys, so as showcased here, it does take a while for the homebrew browser to boot up. So it took me almost like a minute. I'm not too sure why. Um, I think it's just an issue with the actual application itself. I had to restart my uh, Vita or not restart it, but restart the program. But as showcased here, this is a Vita homebrew browser and I'll show you guys on how to like navigate within the project. So of course you just use your D-pad or analog stick. You can also use your touchpad as well if you wanted to, uh, download some um, homebrew on whatever you wanted to do so there are also some homebrew you could also toggle with left and or basically your button pad or shoulder buttons you could also uh, toggle if you wanted to you know install an emulator or you want to install some utilities with an auto plugin itself so there are a bunch to um, you know choose from depending on what you want to do uh, let me see what retro life area is not too sure what it does so little tool that automatically improves psx and psp bubble assets oh so it's just basically a program to mess with psx stuff that seems pretty cool i'm trying to find one that um i never had on my thing switched sd to vita pro camera vita so there is a lot of stuff that you could check out from here uh let's see there's a lot actually I, i'm pretty shocked that there's a bunch of homebrew for the vita like this um trying to see this idu mode as well i'm not too sure um i want to be running that now since i have test kit stuff on my vita there's also an adrenaline account switcher let's see we could do a game how about that for this uh showcase so there are some ports i want to see if they have uh, a mario port i remember reading about it so super mario war i'm not too sure what that is Super Mario War is Super Mario multiplayer game. The goal is to stomp as many other Marios to win the game. So okay, we could download that for um, today's video. All you have to do to install it is just press X and it as showcased here is now installing onto my PlayStation Vita. So it's downloading the data off the um, internal servers. And now once that is fully done, uh, what I'm going to do here is just cut the video and then once it's fully installed, I'll showcase that the app has now successfully been ran onto my PlayStation Vita. Alright guys, so I'm back onto my PlayStation Vita as showcase here. Super Mario has been fully downloaded. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and go back. And now as showcased here, um early in the video, this was not here, so you could clearly see Super Mario World is a new um thing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and run the app, just verify that it's running. But yeah, that's essentially how to download any app via with the uh, Vita homebrew browser. So I'm just gonna go ahead and play the game a little bit. So I guess these are the developers and creators for this game. Mm. I'm just going to showcase that it is running on the screen right here. Okay, so it's still loading. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and hit start. I have no idea how to play this at all as well. Let me see. Uh, I'll just, I'm just going to select random games. Start, okay. I wonder if this was like a PC port or something. All right, so the goal was to, okay, so I guess I'm Pikachu at the bottom. Oh, I got killed, <laughs> but yeah, essentially this is how um, you successfully, um, you know, install any homebrew app or any homebrew games of your choice onto your PlayStation Vita. With that being said, if you did enjoy um, this video, please be sure to leave a like and you know, comment down below if you need any support with that being said my name is nagato and i'm signing out thank you guys for watching peace